From the station that's on your side, this is Channel 7 News. Good morning, Arkansas. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Baptist Health recently performed its 250th heart transplant at Baptist Health Medical Center in Little Rock. Our state is very fortunate to have this technology available, and we wanted to find out more about this life-saving program. So joining us this morning is Dr. Kirthi Narasetti, and also we've got a heart transplant recipient in here. Dr. Narasetti is from the Heart Failure and Transplant Institute, and George, or excuse me, Mike Collins is someone who knows firsthand just about how this heart transplant surgery works because, Mike, a year ago, in a month about is when you got your heart transplant? In November. In November. Ago. Okay. How are you feeling since then? I feel great now. Really? Really do. It's, uh, it's, it's been a long trip. And now before, how did you feel before the transplant compared to now? Can you give us an idea of the comparison? And the quality of life was pretty sorry. Really? And now? I, I went through <clears throat> three or four cardiologists. I've had a Zoll life vest that went off. I've had two pacemakers. And when one of those quit, then they got me in the transplant program. Unbelievable. I mean, it's just, we say keep on amazing because it really is. What is truly amazing is that Baptist Health has 250 heart transplants under their belt. Dr. Narasetti, you're a part of this and, and that program. How, how proud of you and honored are you to be a part of something like this? I mean, it's, 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 it's a very um, uh, humbly, uh, humbling experience, I would say. Um, Baptist has started doing the transplant since uh, November the 10th, 1989. That was the first heart transplant. Uh, from the outset, I would like to congratu congratulate um, you know, the Baptist Health Administration and the medical staff whose uh, teamwork has led to this landmark. Um, we, it's, it's been a long road, I think, you know, if you look at the, some of the, the, the learning things that we have learned um, during this, in the last 20 plus years. Yeah. Um, it's not only getting to the number, but, you know, the fact that you have dealt with some of the sickest of the sick patients. I mean, these are the patients who, without a transplant, 50% of them would have, would have gone on to uh, die in the next six months. Yeah. And seeing them walk with the new lease of life. It's, uh, you know, it's one of the immense satisfaction that a physician would get. And um, we have learned a lot of things. And um, in the last 20 years, things have evolved. Heart transplant field has been a, a continuous evolving field. And um, I think it's, it's, it's a really a tremendous um, achievement, I would say, from the, uh, from the Baptist Health Standpoint. And seeing guys like Mike walk around and, and doing as well as they, they are, it's a testament to what you guys do. Absolutely. I mean, that, that's what uh, we see. Saying that, you know, when when Mr. Collins was uh, having this heart failure symptoms, we, you know, we talk about the quality of life, and heart transplant is a gold standard. So. Um, Obviously, we have a lot of technology that we can use nowadays. You know, in yeah. What did you using, bring in here? Um, these, these are these are some of the LVADs that we use. It's called lift ventricular assist devices. Okay. Um, and you know, when we talk about the history of transplant going back in the early 80s and 90s, we didn't have this technology. So people who had heart transplant, or people who were heart failure, um, we're talking about putting them on IV medications that mm -hmm. are called inotropes to get them to the transplant. And if you get a donor, you know, again, which is uh, always a challenge. I mean, we don't know when we're getting, going to get a donor. It's the wait times are anywhere from three to six months. Oh, wow. Um, Some people don't have that time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we've lost quite a bit of, you know, uh, yeah. patients who are on the list and who didn't get to, get to uh, have a transplant. Um, in the early 90s, uh, we had this technology come up. And if you can look at the way that we use this technology right now, yeah. this is early 2000s. And you can imagine the advancement in the technology that we have. This is the So the that's new, what you use now? This is the new HeartMate 3 pump that we use. This is the new version of that? Yeah, exactly. This so thing right these, here. These two pumps are a little different. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a pulsatile pump and it's a continuous flow pump. OK. Um, but, but look at the size look at, look difference. At this, look at the size difference. I mean, you're talking about going from this size to this size. That is incredible. Exactly. And imagine what it will be in five years. I mean, you know, you know in ten, we, ten years. We were just catching up with the technology and a lot of um, advancement in this field has been going on the last five, ten years. So um, this is a new HeartMate 3 pump that we've been doing. It's in, it's in the trial process. Mm -hmm. And hopefully in the next year we will be getting to know um, how the pump is doing. And we, we compare this to HeartMate 2, which is right now the standard of uh, care for uh, people who are waiting for transplant and or people who don't have an option for transplant and we can do the heart pump 
you know, to give them the quality of life. It's pretty uh, amazing, as they say at Baptist Health, what you guys are able to do for uh, recipients here in Arkansas, and so many people, uh, unfortunately, do need some treatment and then maybe even a transplant. So if you are one of those people, if you uh, are experiencing anything, if you talk to your cardiologist, go talk with the folks at Baptist Health and they will get you squared away and make sure you are down the right path to wellness. So once again, contact them at the number on your screen. That's the Baptist Health Health Line. You can call, make an appointment, set that up, get in the offices and get there soon, folks. Do not wait on something like this. This is far too important. Mike, a testament to that. And thank you That's for coming true. in today and uh, and best of luck on your journey after the heart transplant. That's truly amazing. And uh, Dr. Narasetti, thank you, sir, for coming in today. Nice.